This is the posterior view of the proximal end of the femur. There is the notable head, which forms the ball for the ball and socket joint of the hip. Distal to this is the neck. Fractures in the neck of the femur are the most frequent cause of a broken hip. Further distal to this are two large bony processes for muscle attachment, the greater and lesser trochanters of the femur. Distal to this, there is a V-shaped roughened region known as the gluteal tuberosity, where the gluteus maximus attaches. And then there is a sharp ridge running down the posterior side of the femur known as the linea aspera, and it is to this line that adductor muscles attach. The anterior surface of the distal end of the femur has a patellar surface, a smooth area where the patella articulates at the knee joint. So as the knee flexes, the patella or kneecap moves across the patellar surface. The posterior view of the femur at the distal end possesses the two condyles which allow the flexion of the tibia and allows the knee to bend. So these two knobs, a medial and lateral condyle, are evident, separated by a depression or an intercondylar fossa. There are two re regions known as epicondyles which serve for muscle attachment uh, on the medial and lateral sides.